Well, just as the Courier's 90th birthday stands as a benchmark in our history, Vancouver has other devices that serve to remind us of the passing of time on a daily basis. Now, here's reporter Adam Abrams with his first installment of a series that takes a behind-the-scenes look at the city's most famous keepers of time. What's unique about Vancouver? Is it the spectacular scenery, the beautiful mountains, the ocean? Well, yes, it's those things, but what's really unique about Vancouver are the unique ways we have here of telling time. Every hour in Gastown, the steam clock whistles away. Um, at high noon, the O Canada horns play the national anthem. And every night at 9 p.m. here in Stanley Park, the 9 o'clock gun roars out over the city. Today, we're going to take some time out to look at some of these unique chronological landmarks of Vancouver, starting with the 9 o'clock gun. Let's take a look. Well, we're here with uh, Dennis Dooley and the... Rick Harrison. Hi, Rick. And Hi. Uh, we're here at an ungodly hour because this is the time that they load the uh, 9 o'clock gun with gunpowder. Why don't you tell me what you have here? Got a pound and a half of powder. We just stick it in, then we'll put the detonator down and hook that up, and uh -huh. it's all ready to go. First, we take off the, uh, the, old, take the old detonator out. It's all electrically charged. And Rick gets down to the other end and loads it. Exposed to charge. You don't really have to do this, but it just makes it for a little cleaner and more efficient way of doing it. Then you get it all set. Stick it here. Get the old ramrod out. So this is the same old-fashioned way that it's always been done, isn't well, it? Well, <laughs> since the 1894, but prior to that, they did it a little different. They didn't have a gun then, so. <laughs> And that's it. You just ram it down. And you... Take the detonator here. The detonator goes down. So this is just done electrically at 9 o'clock. Electrical charge goes through to the wires, which sets the detonator off, which is sitting in the powder. Boom. <laughs> is the clock here on the building somewhere? Well, it's here. It's around, but we don't like people to know where it is. Ah, oh, gotcha. So. It's around. It works. It, the story is that it was to announce the curfew for fishing, but I've well, I've done a little researching. That's not really true, is it? No. no. Actually, for the for the ships oh, set their chronometers for running of the tides. Right. And originally, they didn't have a gun. They used to have a care caretaker or whatever up at the point called William Jones, and he used to have to go out at exactly nine o'clock every night. He had a little fishing rod with a telegraph wire on the end of it. Uh -huh. And he put a detonator on that with a, with a piece of dynamite. <laughs> and he set that off at exactly 9 o'clock. Well, he wasn't too thrilled with that, so they came up with an alternative means that was a little safer, and that's yeah. when the gun came here. Right. And that's been going for over 104 years now. I like to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the nicer little jobs and to do. So it really is something special, isn't it? A special gun. So in a city that doesn't have, it has a special setting, but doesn't have much tradition. So this is true. I mean, so we're a pretty young city we as they go. Destroyed all our tradition, ripped the buildings down, and taken it for granted. But hopefully, this won't be taken for granted, and it will stay on forever. So I hope so. Later in the show, we'll be back here to see and hear the 9 o'clock gun in action. So stay tuned. It's sure to be a real blast. And not to keep you in suspense, if you stick around for just a few more minutes, you will see that gun go off. Well, a few minutes ago, reporter Adam Abrams told you all about Vancouver's famous 9 o'clock gun. Except for one thing. What happens when it goes off? Well, even though you can probably imagine it, that's not so much fun. So here you go. The explosive finale. The 9 o'clock gun always draws a crowd. I was there to record it and catch a few reactions. Tell me what's going to happen at 9 o'clock. It's going to be a really, really loud noise. Uh, <laughs> anything else happen? Uh, yeah, the cannonball is going to fly in the water. No. Have, you, have you seen this happen? Huh? Have you seen this before? Yeah. You've seen the cannonball fly in the water? No, it's, no. it's not a cannonball. What is it? It's just like now loud it's, it's really loud, eh? Yeah. We can hear it all from Vancouver. We can hear. We can hear it from Vancouver. Uh huh. And Burnaby. That's pretty far. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be all right. Yes. Okay. I feel better.
like it. Oh, cool. It was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really ready for it. This is Adam Abrams reporting for Plugged In Vancouver. Now, if you catch our next show, Adam will scale the five sails at Canada Place to check out the noon O Canada horns. Those are those really loud ones that sing the anthem. Anyway, <laughs> that's all the time we have tonight. Thank you very much for joining us on Plugged in Vancouver. I'll be back next week. Until then, enjoy the summer. I'm Barbara Margots, and I just want to say, boo-boy. <laughs>